A resiliency action plan is important to building and maintaining Rose Villa, a community that is home to more than 370 residents who want to live in an environment that is as safe and secure as possible. Greenhammer took on this challenge and has been instrumental in determining a path ahead. A resiliency action plan is comprehensive. It affects all areas of our operation and touches everyone here on campus. A successful resiliency action plan, or RAP, as we like to call it for short, has really aspirational goals that are still achievable and strategies that we can implement on time and on budget. So my feeling about resiliency action planning is it's the kind of thing you're going to have to defend if you're not doing it in the future. It actually came about pretty organically after a year with, let's see, wildfires and smoke. We had an ice and storm event where we lost power for multiple days. There was a bunch of other natural events that occurred during a pandemic, and we thought that it was really important to start planning ahead because we think these are not one-offs. We think that we'll have additional climate issues that make it difficult to operate. And so it's super important to us to make sure that we are taking care of our residents at all times and that we are aware of and responsive to our environment. And so long-term resiliency planning seems like the most reasonable way to get started. There's several stages that go into resiliency action planning. The first stage involves clarifying our priorities, which then helps set our appropriate goals and strategies. The second stage is when we more deeply analyze how these strategies can be synchronized, scaled and staged to minimize costs and disruption during construction. And the final stages of a wrap involve actually implementing the resiliency strategies, which may take years or even decades to fully implement. In the instance of Rose Villa, which is a very engaged resident group, the implementation of some of these measures seemed to be going faster than planned. One of the reasons I joined the RAP was I wanted to get to know my neighbors better. And I figured that the people that will want to work on a resiliency action plan will be the same type of technical people like myself. And I was right. All the people that care about the climate action here at Rose Villa were involved. I met all the engineers. It was a great way to start building community. It is going to be a long-term process, so that's why you need to have good partners. And for us, including the residents, is a critical part of the experience. We have many engineers and other people who have worked in the field in their professional lives, and they are interested in doing the research. They care about the results. They are fantastic partners, and for us to do it without them would not be effective. So it's been a great experience from that perspective as well, and I think that Green Hammer actually is enjoying that part too. The human toll of natural disasters is something that's going to affect us all. I am excited to help Rose Villa better prepare for natural disasters like wildfires or power outages. At the end of the day, we want our community to feel safe and secure.